Hi everyone, I just wanted to get on here before I get to your reading and let you know that I am starting to take personal readings again. So if you are interested in personal reading sessions with me, Becky, Albina Moon Child herself, click on the description box below. And how you get there is you just tap on the title of the video and it will bring you all the lovely information as far as what services I offer and how to book a session with me. All right, so thank you and enjoy your reading. Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. So let's go ahead and get started here, okay? First card out is Page of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. That's very positive, right? We have the Two of Wands in reverse. And we end with the Six of Cups in reverse. Interesting. Bottom of the deck in the overall energy, King of Pentacles in reverse. All right, Pisces, what is going on right now? I swear, what I feel like with you is you're not grounded. You're not very grounded. I feel like for some of you, you let go of the past. For others of you, you haven't let go of it yet. Um, and the reason why you haven't let go of it yet is because there are some uh, insecurities that you're still focusing on, still dealing with. All right. There's two sets of you Pisces out there. So one is the one that keeps focusing on the fish. All right. When I see the fish, all right, what it tells me is you focus on the distraction this page is to have is supposed to have a message right you see the water in the back it's all kind of choppy and stuff all right you have a message you're supposed to do, be doing something you're you're inspired but you get distracted so easily so this is kind of like this okay so you're having a conversation either with yourself or with somebody um but this is what i want becky i want this but I can't get this because this person and this thing and this situation and this and this and this. And all I have to say, Pisces, is you're distracting yourself from what it is that you really want. You're distracting yourself. And that's why you're not getting anything off the ground. You give too many distractions. You give your energy out so willingly, so freely, all right? That you're not even considering yourself. And oh my gosh, isn't that a stereotype of a Pisces, right? I keep, I give so much of myself and I'm just like, when will somebody give to me? Well, honey, if you want somebody to give to you, you got to give to yourself first, all right? That's why nothing has been going on. If there's a long distance between you and something, there is a long distance, all right, a long distance. The road is long, super long, super long. And this thing that happened in the past, somebody's not letting go. Somebody's not letting go of that past. And then for others of you, somebody is letting go of the past. All right, there's somebody that is and there's somebody that isn't. They just can't move on, whoever this person is, right? And this person... Didn't want anything serious. Or, Pisces, you were in something serious, but you're not taking it serious. And the other subset of you is this relationship, this situation, this work, this whatever this is, wasn't the one. It wasn't the one. This is not your forever, all right? You treated it like it was your forever, and you know, daggone well, it's not your forever. You know it. For others of you, there may be children involved. And that's actually starting to take a toll on your children. What do I mean? So if you have children and you're in a situation where you're stuck in misery because God knows Pisces. I love you guys. I'm a Pisces moon. So I'm talking shit about my own sign, okay? Um, you're always martyring. You're always martyring. Oh, let me do it for the sacrifice of the family. But are, are these same people sacrificing for you? Is it equal or is it not? All right. But that's up to you to decide. I see two, four, and six. So that's interesting. You may be seeing those numbers. 246. 
Uh, what's that? Six and six, which equals 12. Three. It gives about communication, creativity. Have you been creative lately? Have you been doing your arts and crafts? Because Pisces, I like said, I'm a Pisces moon, invaded. And when I'm not actually drawing or doing something creative, I know I'm, I'm depressed, all right? All right, so here we go, Pisces. The card that came out for you was Pray. All you can do at this moment is pray for a miracle, pray for an opportunity to come, pray for strength, whatever it is that you need to pray for. Pray. Let it off your chest. Let it off your chest because when you pray, you're actually asking. And the universe, God, your creator, loves it when you talk to them. And I say them because I don't say him or her because you don't put a gender on a freaking soul, a spirit. So, them, it. Next one is make a note of it. Make a note of it. If there's something that you're noticing, either creativity-wise or something that you're noticing that you're not happy with, make a note of it. Why do I say make a note of it? Because sometimes, Pisces, we get so distracted on everybody else's drama that we forget to make a note of our own stuff. So make a note of it. And I feel like for a lot of you, you just need to write. Again, creativity flows in your blood. And when you're not being creative, you're not expressing yourself. So I feel like you need to express yourself. So can I get some numbers, the angel numbers for Pisces? Angel numbers for Pisces. One more, please, one more. Angel number for Pisces. First card that came out was five. One more for Pisces, please. Thank you. I can't take that. It's not a number card. Mm -hmm. Number card for Pisces, number card for Pisces. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here we go, Pisces. So we have the number five and we have the number three. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> we have the number five and the number three. Yes, they are unicorns. I liked it because it was pink and I'm a unicorn myself. Instead of, but anyways, I, dig I digress. Five is the number of what? Milestones, challenges, all right? Although, when you go through challenges and you succeed through your test, a big reward happens, all right? So, number five. And then the number three. The number three resonates with the Ascended Masters. This is also the number of what? Creativity, okay? So, I feel like for a lot of you Pisces, you are going through a karmic situation in regards to your creativity, in regards to what it is that you want, and getting in touch with expressing yourself in a healthy manner, okay? So that is what I have for you, Pisces. Thank you so much. If you're trying to get some, um, uh, you know, if you're wanting to get grounded, I do, again, offer Reiki services. So if you're interested, just check out that description box below and hit me up. And I will see you guys next time. Mwah and namaste.